I'd like to call the September 25th, 2013 Airport Advisory Commission to order. Please join me in the uh, release to our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. A roll call, please. Commissioner Houston? Here. Commissioner Judd? Here. Commissioner Meyer? Here. Commissioner Machado? Here. Commissioner Fisher? Here. Commissioner Jackson? Here. Commissioner Anthony Garcia uh, is absent. And Executive Secretary Mike Chambliss? Here. Um, while we're on the topic of roll call, uh, Commissioner Garcia tendered his resignation today um, so we'll be letting the city clerk know that uh, there's an opening he uh, moved out of the area hmm. she got the email today okay. Okay. Oh. okay verification of agenda posting the agenda for the airport advisory commission of the city of Hollister regular meeting of September 25th 2013 was posted on the bulletin board at City Hall on September 20th, 2013 at 4.59 p.m. for government code section 54954.2. Okay, thank you. The next item, closed session. I'm not sure what we're doing here. Public so you need comment. to adjourn the meeting and we need to head okay. on in there. Public comment limited to any, any item listed on the closed session agenda. Closed session will be held by the Airport Advisory Commission of the City of Hollister to discuss the following matter. Conference with legal counsel, anticipated litigation, significant exposure to litigation pursuant to paragraphs two or three of subdivision D of section 54956.9, one potential case. I'd like to call the meeting closed. No. Adjourned. Adjourned. Yes, Right. You just go into closed session. You can't adjourn the meeting. Okay, we're going. Okay, we're going to go into closed session.
Okay, I'd like to reconvene the meeting. Let's see, where were we? Sir. Consent, item six, uh, approve the minutes of the Airport Advisory Commission meetings of July 24th and August 28th, 2013. Do we have any discussion on the minutes? I have a question. Yes. On uh, the September 25th minutes on the back page. September 25th? September. I'm sorry, for the approval. Uh, August 28th. Okay. Um, uh, on that middle of the page, item five, FAA funding. Kevin Flynn of Kimberly Horn feels optimistic we'll be able to get the funding for the taxiway 1331 repairs. Is, is that taxiway or? or well, I, 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 I'm not saying they're wrong. I just, I, that's what I, we're talking about runway, aren't we? Not that's taxiway. correct. Okay, so that's a correction. Then. Thank you. Where was that at again? Middle of the page, oh, in, in the back. back. Item okay. five. It says taxiway one three three one repairs. I guess it should be runway three one one three repairs or one three one three. Okay. Thank you. That's all I had. Uh, on the same August uh, minutes on the back page, uh, right ahead of that in uh, section eight. <coughs> the last three lines it talks about the, the motion what we're going to do with the uh, uh, dingling building it says that uh, a motion was made to investigate the cost of removing building 16 my recollection was my motion was to not implement the hundred and seventy five thousand dollar renovation now, um, I don't know how important that is because it, it means the same thing, but uh, in, in reality was we didn't want to implement the $175,000 uh, renovation. And if you want to investigate the cost of removing the building, I guess that's okay. Did, did you want to do that or did you start it? I have a report on it tonight. I, oh. Yeah, I, okay. I believe we did ask for a cost analysis. Of you that. did give me direction to that mm -hmm. yes. effect. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you are also correct that the motion was not to spend the hundred. $75,000. Okay. So why don't we make the changes on the 28th and bring back that back next month so you can see them. Okay. So get those perfect. And okay. That's fine. Okay. So uh, are we going to yes, approve the, what, we gonna approve one of them? It has corrected. No, one of them has not been corrected. We're going to correct both of them, right? Do you want to approve the July one? That's what I'm oh, yeah. saying before we move on. Okay. I'll, I'll move we accept the July one. Second. Okay, we have a motion and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, motion carried. to the August 28th meeting minutes. We'll bring those back at the next meeting. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Okay, we'll move on to uh, public input. Do we have any speaker cards? I have not received any. No. Okay. Okay, reports. Airport manager's report. Give a report on <coughs> the San Benito Fair. So, um, I'm sorry, I've been told I have to wear glasses. I'm trying to get used to them, but the eyes are not happy. Um, so the uh, fair is the weekend of the 4th, 5th, and 6th. Um, looking for some help to uh, man the air show booth. Um, we have quite the display this year. Um, I, I, uh, I, I took all the stops out, so we went uh, hog wild. So. You got two creative guys doing it this year, not just one. So it'll be an absolute pleasure to work, I assure you. The children will, will love it. Um, I ordered a new batch of wings, so I actually get to get, give the kids something other than a sticker. Um, and you'll have a good time. So if you'd like to help, if you could contact me at the office, 
I could let you know when I'm real thin on staff and uh, if you can join me out there and that would be greatly appreciated. You're going to really be displaying a lot of the EAA stuff, right? Because it's going to be the uh, Young Eagles program, correct? We will be also advertising the Young Eagles program. I'm also going to be um, uh, displaying other, uh, plus it's the city booth, so we got to talk about sewage and water and all those lovely topics. But uh, we'll put that in the corner and do fun stuff mm -hmm. for the majority of the booth. Okay. We're bringing the plane out. And I assure you, it will be the hit of the fair. Yeah, I've seen it today. <laughs> okay. I have a question? Yes. Uh, so does, who pays for getting in if you're going to be a helper? <laughs> <laughs> I, I have not received any passes, so I may be paying for myself to get in. <laughs> okay. Any more discussion on I think the passes went away when they had to transfer the alcohol sales to cover the price of the fare. Ah. Okay, we'll move on to old business. Um, I, get, I do have one more item under reports. I'm allowed yes. a little bit of latitude if something just comes up, and something okay. did just come up today. Um, we were able to uh, get an agreement with the Glider folks. They're moving into our old office, effective the uh, first of the month. Um, they're very happy, um, and then uh, we will be putting the building that they're currently in in rehab so we can reconnect it and have a, a, a full building to rent out um, within probably by December. Huh, that's good. good We've still got a fish the electrical in the back. That, that, that puts, uh, who's this is moving? The glider folks. Glider folks. <coughs> so that, they're, they're at the far end. Yes. So the, the skydive will, is in between? They're in between us, yes. So you won't be able to expand your conference room yet? No, I can't expand my conference room. <laughs> okay. I, I really don't want to expand the conference room. Okay. Will they be paying? <laughs> that was a lot of work. <laughs> will they be paying rent to Hugh Bickle or to the? No, they, they pay rent to us. Right. So we'll we we continue to lease that spot. Right. Good. Okay. Okay, move on to old business. The restaurant food service picnic area update. Okay, so um, at the uh, commission's direction, um, I, I went and uh, basically your, your concrete ADA accessible picnic tables, which are required by law, are gonna run about $1,000 a piece delivered. Um, and then uh, benches, you know, just regular old concrete park benches run about $500 a piece. So um, that's part of the expense. You're also looking at servicing and everything. So all in all, once the site is cleared and, and ready to go, we could probably get a nice seating area in there for about 20K. Um, that includes fixtures and the, the proper substrate that's ADA accessible also. You just can't go set the stuff on grass anymore. Um, you actually have to uh, prepare it, and usually the most common product's called uh, decomposed granite, which is a uh, sandy clay material that packs in hard that the wheelchairs don't sink in or anything, or walkers don't sink in. Um, but clearing the site, um, we believe that uh, what I had done, um, I had staff drill holes in the building to see if it was um, hollow block, a concrete build block, uh, rebar filled concrete filled block or what it is um, it, w it appears to be just plain hollow block um, in which case we believe that we could do uh, the majority of the demolition work ourselves uh, which will save a considerable amount of money um, it's still gonna cost money we got to pay to haul stuff away obviously um, we're gonna have to divert um, at a minimum of 50% of it um, truth is, we'll be diverting about 95% of it with our plan to keep costs down. We'll, we'll send the concrete up to Chapin on the hill to be recycled, and we'd send the wood off to be recycled and separate any steel and have that recycled, et cetera. Um, we had the asbestos folks out today to have a look at the tile. Um, they took samples. Um, 
I should know something by the next meeting on the asbestos. While they were out, I also had them take samples of the old uh, 1942 small arms magazine that's out in the field. Uh, and might as well get that thing clear it cleared if we can. And if we can clear it, uh, get that thing out of the way because it's kind of a air navigation hazard, at least during the air show with Eddie flying around it is. So um, anyway, that's where we are with the restaurant. So um, I can wrap things up by next meeting and give you a real detailed proposal and go from there mm. if you want me to continue. So is the plan, is that a concrete slab that building's on? Is the plan to leave that concrete as a? If we can. Okay. Um, depends on what's sticking up out of that slab, how much of that slab you can leave. You know, mm -hmm. if there's a bunch of steel sticking up out of that slab that's going to cut tires of the taco truck, then it doesn't make sense to leave it there to have the taco truck um, mm -hmm. pull up on. So until we get the building down, we really can't make that decision. But my intention would be, yes, to leave that slab. What's the cost of taking the building down? That's not part of the 20000 right? Um, we're imagining about ten grand to haul it off mm -hmm. to the appropriate places with us doing the mo majority of the knockdown. Any other questions by the commission? Yes. My question is on, <laughs> on the drawing. It says $1,000 for the table. Uh-huh. And there's $500 for a bench. Uh-huh. How many people can you sit at this table? Eight. Eight? Eight. Eight. This thing says Six 35 inches wide. I don't want to measure myself, but... I'm not sure two of us could sit on one, on one side. I thought it was eight. Tabletop uh, length is 72 inches, looks like. Yeah, but the bench, the bench because the handicap, the bench is only <coughs> 35. That's for the handicap. Well, I guess the reason for a cement bench is that they don't walk off. Is that correct? They don't walk off. <laughs> they don't melt when people light the tambark on fire underneath them. I can tell you stories about the city of San Jose where we got a grant and got all these nice recycled plastic playgrounds and, and picnic tables, and then the vandals came in and started little fires in the dam bark, and we came in to find all our nice plastic recycled uh, park furniture <coughs> in melted globs in the middle of the uh, parks. Um, they also stand up to uh, people carving initials in them, and uh, it's a little easier to clean if they get tagged. My, my Basically, my point is that for five hundred dollars more, a single bench. I don't know how long it is. Maybe it behooves us to buy the tables with the benches rather than a single bench. Right for the dollar. Yeah, I mean, the six foot long. This is just a representative yeah. sample. I mean, when it's designed, design, 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 decision time. Sorry, that's kind of difficult to say. Um, there's a majority of, ven a, a plethora of vendors and uh, different choices and everything and <coughs> enough to keep people busy for a year. So, um, so this is just a representative sample of what's out there. Well, so so what you're saying 20 if you got a temp, if you got a bench with tables and it's for the, for the taco truck, whatever it is, Majority of the people will be eating there rather than sunbathing, so it'd be more convenient to have the tables there than just a bench to sit there. With that is correct. Eating or off your lap. <coughs> My personal opinion. So, so for twenty thousand dollars, you expect to have seating for like how many people? About twenty, about what the same inside the restaurant. Now Lowe's has a six foot long bench for 99 bucks. You have to assemble it's wood and it's heavy duty <laughs> thick wood and it would be hard to carry away <coughs> but it would be hard to set on fire. <laughs> 100 bucks. Watch it. Watch and they're it. nice. Think about putting one of them back Is it yeah, ADA it. accessible? What's that? Is it ADA accessible? ADA? Yes. On these things? <laughs> yes. Um, there's a, there's a lot that goes into this, and when the 
if we go down that road and the time comes, I would encourage you to set a subcommittee to assist on this because it's going to be some work to make decisions. Are you are you trying to excuse me? Go ahead. Are you trying to you said something about matching the capacity of the dingling? I believe that would be a good starting point. I guess what I'm driving at is why go to the full capacity? Why not start out with, I don't know how many, four of them and then expand to what the uh, need is? We, we could do that, but I, I also am thinking that, you know, with that minimum capacity, we're gonna, there's going to be a point where we need a minimum to get somebody to provide the service. <clears throat> You know, if there's only seating for eight, it doesn't make much sense for me to bring my business out there to try to make money off of eight people. I said four, but that's 32. <clears throat> yes. Hmm. Huh. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to discuss this more at the next meeting, I guess. I'll bring right. it back. Right. Okay, any more comments? Questions? Okay, we'll move on to the next item, Airport Capital Improvement Plan. In addition to the requested run-up area for runway 3-1. So um, I was asked to make a few changes to this, um, and the key thing was to get the restaurant in there. So I put the design for the restaurant in 2016 when we complete the uh, runway project. And then I put construction of a restaurant in 2017, which is, in my opinion, the soonest we could fund it without really upsetting the FAA and upsetting the runway plans. Um, okay. 2018 has the uh, design and construction of a 2-4 run-up area. And I'm still convinced that we can sneak the 3-1 run-up area into our runway project. <coughs> In fact, instructions have been given to our, um, our contractor to uh, include add alternates in the uh, runway project for a run-up area and uh, taxiways out to the west side. I, I didn't look back in my book, but but you have six million dollars in both uh, 2015 and 16. Is that is that runway rehabilitation now 12 million dollars? Well, that was worst case scenario. What does our con uh, what does our consultant say? That was what he said. Worst case scenario. Hmm. <clears throat> that puts us short on matching funds. It does. Okay. Which good thing we're not building. Oh. A, good thing we're not rehabbing or <laughs> dingling, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> well, we got to find some funds, but it's a couple years off. Since we're, if I can ask a question, yes, <clears throat> um, you mentioned the six million dollars for runway rehab in 2015. Is that I didn't quite understand. Is that for the north end or is that for the whole thing? That is for all of 1331. Okay. Um, we now we never get to see these pieces of paper, but the, the way the FAA does it, you know, they program a three year budget out. And we are supposed to be programmed to receive $12 million over those two years. That's why it's split six to six. It may turn out we get $4 million one year, $8 million another. Okay. It may turn out that we only need $3 million. You know, okay. until the designs are done this year, it's really kind of a, you know, stick your finger okay. up in the air and see which way it. the wind's blowing to it. give you a, that figure. I got it. Thank so, you. So um, we did get the grant for the design. I believe that was included in your packets. Um, so that work will be starting as soon as you guys are happy with this document and I can take it to council, get them to approve it. And when I do that, I'm going to get them to approve the, uh, the design work. So 
this actually is kind of holding that up at this point. You're referring to the grant agreement? No, I'm referring to this 25-year plan that Caltrans requires us to do. If you guys are happy with the changes, I'll take them to council, get them to adopt them, submit them to the FAA while I'm having council adopt these, which I could do as early as the 7th. I'm also going to get council approval to proceed with the design work that we've already received the grant for, which I have to get their clearance to go ahead and spend the money. Um, in addition to, what is the other thing I need to do? There's one other thing I need to get them to do regarding this. Oh, budget the money that we received the grant for so we can spend it. <coughs> so it's also a supplemental appropriation involved. But the key to it is this document, and if you guys are happy with the changes and letting me know to go ahead and proceed to the council level or bring it back next month if you're not happy with the changes, if you need other changes. <clears throat> could, I, could I ask a question first? Yes. I agree with what you want to do, but, but I'm looking at the difference between 2013 and 2014, and I'm thinking about conversations we've had with a consultant in which he feels that, that he, it's always prepared to be ready ahead of time. And is, is there a way in 2013 that the design and engineering will be complete in such a fashion that we can start some of the runway rehabilitation in 2013? And can he put that forward or be ready to put it forward in case other organizations are not prepared to accept the funds in 2013? Yes. And if that happens, I bring an action before you for a quick supplemental change to this and a supplemental appropriation for whatever additional monies were granted from the FAA for this year, and they get it to the council to accept it. Okay, now, has, has our consultant put that planning into effect? Not until I get the council to say he can. Not until the council? Until I get approval from the council for them to work on the design itself. Oh, you gotta do that first. I gotta do that first. When and before do I do that, I need to have this done. So once this is done, then I can do it all at once and take care of it. Okay. <clears throat> and so part of the problem was another department of the city was supposed to handle some of this, and I've recently been told that they're not handling it, so i got to handle two other things because of that. Has the FAA already approved this grant of, for the design and engineering? Yes. That's just what we have here. So I need to get the city council to appropriate the money so I can spend it okay. and do a grant a go on the project. But it's around 400 and some thousand dollars just for the design and engineering, right? Yes. Wow. Okay. You, we need to make a motion? Yes, he needs a motion. I'll um, move that we recommend Mike take this to the city council and uh, that we approve it and t take it to the city council for their approval. I have a motion and a second. Second. I have a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, motion carried. Okay, so I will be typing like crazy in the morning at 6 a.m. to get that to council for the 7th, along with the other three items. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, uh, the next item is annual fuel flow review. So I was asked by a commissioner to put that on the agenda for tonight. So um, just to let you know where it's at, um, in May of 2011, the city council um, changed the fuel flow from five cents a gallon to eight cents a gallon where it rests now. Back in May, your recommendation was for a 12 cent per gallon change. Just to remind and bring those of you who weren't there up to speed. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to you guys. So well, I'll just comment. Uh, I'm the commissioner that requested this. Uh, last year, we missed the, the timing gates when we thought about this because it was supposed to review it annually, or at least we can review it annually. Uh, but we have to have it all done, sealed and delivered to the city council by March. May, well, well, we have to. Well, yeah. We have to give 
Leonardo 60 days notice, which means it has to be approved by the city council in June, May, and April sometime, which means we probably have to have an opinion to give to the city council by March. And this, the first half of a year is a very busy time with air show and all that, and I think we tend to forget about it. So I want to just have it on here. We don't have to decide anything tonight, or at least I'm not asking us to do so. But I think we should start thinking about it again, see if we want to readdress this, get a, a new survey on you know what's, what the other airports around here are doing, and come to a new conclusion or recommendation. But I, it, it seems not to be an easy snap decision, so I think I wanted to start looking at it now. That's all. Well, we have to get it on the agenda then, but in the March. Well, it's on here now, so. Just carry it. Huh? You mean carry it? Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it can just carry until okay, we do that. make up our on. mind. Okay. Everybody agree with that? No questions? No comments? Corrections? Well, okay. do, we, do we, I don't know who normally surveys the airports as fuel flow fleas around here. Who did it last time? Lynn. Lynn did. Lynn? Perhaps we can ask her to do it again. Is that what you guys would like us would to do? Be, you know, I mean, if we ask her now, it can, it's in, means it doesn't have to be done instantly, but just get it done. She can schedule it. Okay. Would that be reasonable? <coughs> Commissioners agree or disagree? Or nod your head, shake your head. <laughs> <laughs> what are we agreeing to? <laughs> to ask Lynn, or ask Mike. Would you like to direct staff to go ahead and complete a survey? That's the word I was looking and for. And bring it to you oh, at the right. next meeting so you have a little bit of data okay. for sure. this topic? That's that would great. help. That would help? Okay. okay. So we'll do that. Thank we'll you. Complete a survey. I don't think anything's changed. Before the next meeting, we go from there. Okay, new business. We don't have any, do we? So items for uh, the next agenda. Uh, let's see. The restaurant food service area, we'll leave that on, correct? Yep. And uh, I guess we can we can uh, leave the AC pit, ACIP on. If you take it to council, you can give us what happened there. Absolutely. And then we'll leave the annual food flow, fuel flow review mm -hmm. as part of. <clears throat> and I'd like to add to the next uh, agenda the, uh, the voting of the chair was supposed to have been done in June for the commission. So could, could we have it the next meeting? <laughs> it's supposed to be done in June of every year. Regular, the regular Got it. meeting. And uh, the chair can run two consecutive times max, the chairman. That's what the bylaws say. OK. Any other items you want to add, anybody? Maybe let us know how the fair came out. I will let you know how the fair came out. Okay. And perhaps we could get a Young Eagles report. A what? A Young Eagles report. Oh. Yeah, I guess you can do that. <laughs> Have you seen the new airplane? <laughs> okay. Okay. The okay, next meeting date is October the 23rd. 2013. That's correct. Okay, do I have a motion for adjournment? So move. Second. I have a motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay.